All right, guys. Welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we will we will be reviewing a cigar that has been sent in by Texas Cigar Society, and this is the Black Works Studio Killer B Petite Corona. So yeah, it's the name <laughs> Blackwork Studio literally sound like a studio to make hip hop music. You know, like one of those music studio that would sound like pretty interesting. And Killer B just remind me of Naruto. That's it. But yeah, it looked kind of interesting, you know. But now let's take a closer look at it. All right, here's the cigar. Killer B would. It looked like a bee or a wops, a wasp, I don't know. Killer Bee Blackwork Studio. Kind of interesting. You have a closed foot. Nice oil sheen dark wrapper. With like, yeah. At the cap, you have like multi, multi-colored wrapper. And a different wrapper at the cap as well. At the closing of the cap. But yeah, overall good looking cigar, no prominent vein, it's pretty smooth, pretty good, look very oily. But yeah, so the wrapper is Ecuadorian Maduro, binder is Nicaraguan Habano, filler is Nicaraguan. MSRP go for $9.74, not bad, not bad at all. So the size is a Petite Corona, I believe. It's a four and a half by 46. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Good looking stick, tell the truth. Good looking stick. All right, now let's cut it and light it. Let's see how the cold draw is after the cut. There's not much aroma that coming off the wrapper. Can't smell the foot because she's closed. She's closed for the night, boys. Nice clean cut. Nice draw. Is this something leaking? That's just a draw. The draw is really good. It's like whistling. But it's packed. Okay. But nothing really on the draw. Alright, let's light it. Stop, babe, you're late. Look at my face and what did you see? I know you like you I know you shitting me. What did you do? This you said. Smoke out for nuts. It's very cocoa forward. Dark, sweet caramel. Wood and a lot of earth. Like a ton of earth. Like so much earth that I just felt like I just bit the earth.
There's a tiny bit of that dark coffee in there too though. But then that caramel died off very, very quickly. I actually enjoyed this draw in this smoke output a lot. Wow. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Tell the truth. But yeah, it's just spicy earth, a little like good amount of earth and then leathery, a little cocoa, a little dark coffee here and there. You get like a nice sweet floral cedar on the retro hell with the spice and then full amount of like full blast leather. Kind of weird. I don't know. It's, a, it's not bad tasting, but it's not like in my profile range, I would say. So yeah, that's it for the few puff. I see you guys at the end of the first third. All right. So the second third, I mean, my bad. First third, it's actually not bad. Not bad at all. It's like a licorice sweetness on the palate and it lingers with like a lemongrass. But there's like that dark coffee black dark coffee and the earth and the leather is balanced with the dark coffee so it's pretty balanced right now it's pretty good it's not intruding or anything like that so first third i'm actually enjoying it and the pepper is non-existent on the retro oil whatsoever now it just have that nice uh, licorice sweetness on the retro hell with a sweet cedar and it turned into like a caramel coffee which is to me is enjoyable it's pretty good for what it is right now but there is this one note this is just me nitpicking. It's that little bit of floralness that's just killing it for me because the floralness on the retro hell, on the finish, the floral make it a tiny bit bitter. I don't like that. But that's just me nitpicking of whatever flavor I'm, I'm trying to get or re remnants or whatever I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking out my ass about a cigar that probably tastes just tobacco, right? But hey. <laughs> that's the whole point uh but yeah it's not bad first third good now we will see what happened at the end of the second third look at this ass baby all right oh killer bees So second third is is getting worse on the second third. I th usually like a sweet spot for a cigar is the second third. Here's the band. But for this one, it's getting a, a bitter tail end. Like very bitter on the tail end. Like sour coffee on the retro hell with a tiny bit of spice. With like a body mustiness. Odor. Like body odor musty. That's so weird. That's so weird. But there's lemongrass on the uh, palate. But then there's like a bitter earthiness leathery so the sweetness of caramel the coffee is gone I don't know where to go it just disappeared but yeah that's that's it for the second second third is nothing to be amazed about I was surprised 
but the first third I liked it a lot. I liked it. I like it quite a bit, but then now the second third is just wow. You know? It's not that amazing. Yet it has this dankiness, but there's a bitter musty wet wood mushroom dank. You know, barnyard. It's the bitterness is killing it actually. But yeah, that's it for the second third. We find out what happened at the end of the cigar. So the final third, the flavor died down a lot. It's like watered down, but it, there's still that little bitterness on the tail end of the cigar. It's like bitter lemongrass. It's like sour bitterness. I don't like it. And there's no other flavor. Like the whole time with the final third. It's danky, but it's sour dank with bitter. So it's just nothing else but that. I like the dankiness. I like the barnyard, but give it a little compliments. You know what I mean? Like I always I always say that, right? Dankiness, barnyard, wet wood, mushroomy, uh, mustiness come with like a sweet note with mm, you know like caramel chocolate honey something something like that blah 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 it will be amazing but this one is just that and it's sour so and then water down everything else I don't know so like I said the first third boom I love it second third yeah you know final third yeah so yeah so Thank you for Texas Cigar Society for sending this cigar in. I will put the page on the title. So, I would rate this cigar from 1 to 10. I would say, you know, first there was nice. So, I, I give it a 5. Dead in the middle pack. I wouldn't really buy it again. But the first, if you like, you know, I, I like the first third. If it was like that the whole time, maybe. Maybe it went up to a little bit more. But yeah, a 5. Uh, the way I rate my cigar is 1 to 6.9 is a no-go, 7 to 7.9 is a rebuy or fry pack, 8 and above is box worthy. And this one is a 5, so it's a no-go for me. That'd be it for the review. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I also have a podcast. I will put everything in the description. Peace!